hi guys karibuni tena to my youtube channel i'm here again as usual i'm always here i will come back anyways you can see from the title today i want to tell you the secret and the easiest way or the easiest job that you can come with to qatar from kenya if you're coming from kenya uganda um nigeria or whichever i won't talk about other countries because i know those people try as much as they can to come here with high jobs it's easier for them but if you're in kenya i know the struggle the struggle just come here with anything but anyways yeah you can come here if you're a lawyer you can come here if you're a doctor you can come here if you're a nurse you can come here if you are a engineer but it will be a struggle to get here for those kind of jobs you have to go to a website like uh, linkedin and uh, try as much as you can to get the best recruiters from there and then they can get you a job so don't be disappointed so guys if you are a new subscriber thank you thank you thank you thank you and i always say that don't watch my videos without subscribing yes make sure that you see that uh, red thing once it turns gray it means that you're a member of a family so just press it and uh, you'll always get notified and press the notification bell. And if you're a returning subscriber, I always say you have a special place in my heart. Always stay, like, share, do everything. Like, just do everything. So let me stop and let's jump on to the video. So guys, um, today I want to give you I don't know if it's like um, a clue or what. A clue. No, I can't say it's a clue. But anyway, guys, today I want to give you this secret. If you really want to come here, like, like fast, like fast, like that, I'm gonna give you the like five, like five jobs you can apply, or you can go through an agency through them, and you can come here like as fast as you can imagine, cause. That's how everyone is coming here and the five and easiest job like they are always in high demand in qatar first one is a security guard if you want to just get like get to doha like very fast like this through an agency like if you go online come here with uh, security guards like they always in demand of securities because here you can find securities in malls you can find security in um compounds in um hotels um parks you can find securities everywhere so they are always in high demand of securities like i can assure you if you get that job just come with it it's not an easy job i won't lie to you because during summer it's a struggle but nowadays they favor people but that's the easiest job you can come here with if you are thinking of coming here to work first think of security guard and they do hire uh, female as well as security and they do hire also men of course so if you really want to come here like easy and very fast try security and if that's not even your profession once you get here, I always say you can always change it with time. And um, another job that it's always on high demand, this country, you know, is a developing country, like Qatar is developing. So each and every day they have like new restaurants, hotels. So what am I trying to say? Uh, waitress. Waitress, like let's, let me general, general. Really? So let me generalize it in one, hospitality. If you want to come here as a waitress, uh, working in hotel, housekeeping, uh, receptionist, let's say, all those things, do it. If you find a job, like you are offered a job as a cleaner, security, all these things I know they're under hospitality, please come with it. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. 
come with it once you get here even if you don't want to be to be a cleaner if you don't want to be um to work in a hotel in housekeeping or a waitress you can always change it with time once you just get the experience here and you know your way around you can always change it so that's like the second hospitality if you find that place come with it they, it's always on demand like if, even now with the world cup they are trying to get as many um waitress cleaners and all that so if you find that please don't let that opportunity go come with it once you are here you will thank me later with time um another thing also that you can come here with um is if you are a driver Qatar is always in demand with uh, drivers, uh, truck drivers, uh, taxi. Um, it depends where you will work as a driver, but coming here as a driver, it's always on high demand. It's like a job that is always on high demand. And first of all, getting a driving license in Qatar, you just having that license in Qatar, it's a big thing. I will tell you my experience like i'll do a video and tell you my experience of getting a driving license in this country so that you'll understand you having that driving license or you coming here as a driver is like a big thing <laughs> yeah so that's something else like you can come here um you can come here as a driver and uh, once you get that driving license like this in your hand you're a hot kick once i come here and explain to you my experience of getting a driving license you will understand guys you will understand and another thing as well that you can come here with easily is if you're coming here as a laborer i know this is something like everyone is trying to run away from but to be honest, I know it's the hardest job you can do in this country. First of all, during summer, being a laborer here, it's very hard. So if you're taking this job, it's an opportunity, but I will tell you the truth. The weather in this country, it's very, very hot. Like it's hot. During summer, you can't even walk 10 minutes outside. Like it's hot. It gets to uh, 45 sometimes. So. I don't want to discourage you but really if you get that job you never know where you will be placed as a laborer you never know maybe it's not on the site like outside maybe it's in a construction company and maybe it's inside you never know maybe it's a factory maybe it's somewhere inside because in this country they like AC is like a big thing so if you are somewhere inside I know you will feel cold as well but I'm, all I'm trying to say is, if you get something, I'm trying to tell you the easiest job that you can come with here are waitress, uh, driver, uh, waiter, like housekeeping, uh, laborer. So laborer is the toughest one, especially if you'll be working in a construction and you're working outside. It's tough, but it's easy. They always want laborers here. Uh, security guard also again it depends where you will be posted some of them are posted in the mall some of them are posted in a compound where you're just sitting like eight hours you're just sitting and uh, sitting in a cctv room like this for eight hours doing nothing you're just looking at the cameras so if you get a security job just come with it you never know where you'll be placed if you don't like it, if you feel like you don't like it, I always say with time, you can change it. But as far as I know, the easiest jobs that so many people who are even higher now, they've come. Even uh, safety, a safety job, you work in the site. Getting a safety job here is like... So if you've done safety in uh, wherever you are, Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, I always talk about African countries because I know those are the countries that it's so hard to come here, like uh, sponsor yourself and come here. It's very hard. So I've seen so many Nigerians who work here in safety. So if you've done safety, you never know 
where you can get a job here yeah, maybe hospital you never know like school whichever place just come with it these jobs that i've mentioned if you you are there and you're trying to get a job in the middle east please focus on this job that i'm mentioning focus with this job you will always get a job cleaner waitress we're all waiter like if you generalize it like hospitality drivers security guard laborer and safety trust me you will always find a job in this country you will you like oh, if you just drop your cv anywhere and you have experience with this like i don't know but all i'm trying to say is the jobs that i've mentioned if you're trying to come here with them or if you've been trying to come here as a a teacher i know a teacher you can come here as a teacher as well but coming from kenya to here as a teacher it can be tricky so if you are a teacher and you want to come here just update your cv and just say you're coming here as a waitress and then once you get here work as a waitress for like one year or was the you have to follow the contract as well work as a waitress and then with time you can find a job as a teacher and go for it so guys don't sleep on this opportunity like being there and saying oh, i want to come there as i don't know because i always get questions from people someone is telling me oh uh i did procurement can i get a job there so i'm like yeah you can there are jobs you can but trust me from kenya to here like there is like a gap from kenya to here you coming here because you did procurement and you're coming from kenya a country they, that they know that people forge documents it won't be easy you just come here as a driver or as a cleaner or whichever once you get here you can even go and verify your documents first of all i will tell you one secret if you have certificates from kenya first go and verify them in foreign affairs i think it's foreign affairs or where is it in kenya verify them so once you come here and maybe you came here as a cleaner or you came here you are coming sorry you are coming here as a cleaner or you are coming here as a waiter once you get here and you have your documents you can get a job and if you have experience already from kenya you will get a job in Qatar, once you just show them that you can do this job, you know what you're doing, and you have ex they can see that oh, this person has lived in Qatar for like um, let's say two years, they will get definitely give you that job. So, guys, don't limit yourself, don't limit yourself because you have a degree from Kenya, so you want to show off like oh, I have a degree, so I have to go to that country with my, my degree, doesn't work out like that. Because you have a degree in Kenya and you're not getting a job there. And you want to go to a foreign country and you want to show them, oh, I have a degree and the degree is from Kenya. They don't. They even, I can remember even when, the first time when I was coming here, I remember that boss told me, don't even send me your certificate. Just send me your CV and that's it. I know how Kenyans work. So our country is already known by forging documents. So don't stress yourself. If you have your documents and you know genuinely you went to a university or a college with them, of course, if you come here and get your, your experience with no time, you'll get the job that you want. So let me not discourage you. I've already told you the jobs that you should focus with. If Even if you're going to an agency in Kenya, when you go there and you find that oh they tell you like oh this is these are the jobs that we have we have laborers we have a uh, security guard we have waitress we have uh, drivers pick one come with it you have your degree you have your uh, your documents and everything come here work as a security guard with time you can change it and even by the way guys you can even study in this country to um, to like uh, level up your uh, education so don't sleep on this opportunity 
that's all i can say for you guys today so please don't forget to like this video don't forget to share don't forget to comment down below like everything you're supposed to do please just try to do it <laughs> anyways guys thank you for watching if you've watched till the end it means a lot i hope to i hope to see you on my next video as well but for now bye and thank you for watching now penda sana always come back